So you guys ask for budget and here is the budget paladin video. So all the items you can see now on my character those are chosen by me personally as a nostalgia feel to the game. When I was playing this game as a younger person I always remember these sort of items here and I thought wow these are pretty cool maybe I could actually complete the game with these somehow on single player using a paladin. And today I want to show off these items that are, that are pretty special to me for a nostalgia feel because I remember finding stuff like Bone Hero or Tooth Row or even something like the Crown of Thieves or even Lightsaber if I was lucky. These items are all very common. I have definitely found them all, maybe not multiple times, but I've definitely seen them all drop. So yeah. And then I just made a few small charms here. Yeah, some of them wasn't made too well. I can always fix that. But yeah. All the items are budget. That's for sure. And that's the point of the video. I wanted to make a budget video now where I show off a build that I've always tried or at least once to complete single pair with. I got to act free hell on a similar paladin like this one, just lower geared. So I'm hoping that I can complete the game now with this build here. So as you can see I haven't quite finished up the stats and the build yet. But it's basically a normal one point smiter build where I put maximum points into sacrifice to get seal damage up. I don't put any points into holy shield almost. And I max fanatisme and that's it. Pretty simple. And if I can even get max block that's a cool little thing. But it's not really a goal, but we can just quickly see. Okay, so I'm actually able to get max block. That's very nice. So, yeah. I think that uh, pretty much rounds it up. I hope you will like this one. Because I'm actually pretty hyped to see how far I can go with this paladin. Because my experience from single player playing legit offline is actually just only on a smiter paladin. Trying to see if I could complete the game one time. Look and behold, so much damage and seal <laughs> and 1.4k life and 4000 defense and 4000 attack rating. This is gonna be very rough but I will start out on player 1 and then we can just do the quick little test at Shank and Overseer. Um, yeah, at least I don't have negative resistance, that's always something. <laughs> So yeah, let's try this out. <laughs> let's just try not to lure them all out. Let the Merc get a few hits in and he, he can lead pretty well with the bone here. Oh, wow, look at the attack speed. And I'm actually hitting pretty well. I think the Eve rune in my lightsaber is pretty helpful. Yeah, I'm actually doing pretty good. I was able to like 10 shot the lead pack there. I actually think I'm hitting enough just because I have this Eve rune in the uh, Waven that does uh, minus 25 target defense. Never really a uh, thing I considered before, but uh, yeah, that was pretty nice. Oh, and, and I even find a little ring here. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. House Priest Duration, that might be better than my Nagel ring. Yeah, let's just go with that for the video. Upgrades are upgrades, so let's try the next part. Yeah, I think these mobs all along here they are pretty easy just because they're all melee. As soon as I start hitting elemental mobs it's gonna be a lot harder because obviously those I cannot block and they're gonna be moving around a lot more. But yeah, it's pretty surprising just how good uh, seal is with fanatism at such a low gear level even. Like um, the attack speed is just very important. But yeah, <laughs> when I just take a little hit there, I lose 200 health. It is pretty dangerous. But yeah, pretty much getting carried by the um, the block there. Let's just see this one. Oh, a little fire damage. Time for lightsaber to shine. I got a physical immune elite pack right up here. This one's not gonna be fun. Oh man, yeah, 
I'm actually able to kill it pretty okay. Uh, just gotta avoid its fire breath, you know, just run around a bit. But yeah, it took me a long time to even get it down to this health here. I was afraid it might uh, regenerate its health or something. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do that, but it just takes so long time, even with my lightsaber and my merc died so many times already. Yeah, let's try to finish it off without <laughs> using my uh, merc this time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, I get like 300 damage taken every little tick of fire breath. If only I had Dracul's. I <laughs> really miss Dracul's. Get some good damage there. Stop fire breathing me. Good. Now I'm really nuking it. Yeah, I love when it stops fire breathing. Then I can easily stay in somewhat. But yeah, even with my lightsaber having all this elemental damage, you know, all that elemental damage still takes such a long time. <laughs> but yeah, we did it. That was the first little hard pack. Okay, a lot to say on this. Sure took a while. But uh, now I have a really annoying one again. Physical immune. This one even drains my mana. Not the worst problem, but still. <laughs> and you can just see, even with the lightsaber, it's not really doing much to this physical immune. I just thought this was kind of fun to include again. But yeah, Lord Desai's pack was so hard to kill. <laughs> That was not funny. It definitely took a lot of potions. And a few deaths. Okay, the last seal pack. Um, I think I'm just gonna instant rip with all the fire damage and have to kite them around a bit. But I got my might all up for my merc and everything. So uh, let's go. Maybe I can kinda try to you know kite them around into like a corner here oh my god my merc stop going forward oh now i lose the might aura <laughs> wow this hurts okay total death count to get to the outlaw about 15 times <laughs> this was uh, surprisingly hard and took a lot of time actually <laughs> But um, yeah, let's go for Diablo. It's gonna take a long time because I don't have Crushing Blow besides that 5% on my gloves. And now my Merc is also not really moving. But yeah, my Merc is probably gonna die very soon. I almost feel like trying to uh, keep him alive just for the uh, Might Aura. But yeah, we will see. Uh, the Lightning beams doesn't seem to hurt much. I don't know if it's like the animation or something that just you know it, it passes through melee range. I think it is, but um, yeah, maybe that's just like an anti ranged thing, whereas the fire's more hurting melee. Okay, it's surprisingly effective with my merc staying alive, but yeah, it does also have quite a few leech. No, oh, the fire, the fire, the fire. Ah, my Merg is just instant ripped there. <laughs> Man, that fire thing hurts. I almost want to move the job now. Yeah, good. Move with me. <laughs> and now just for the last bit. And voila. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> So, I think I also want to end the video with a bit of item wishes. I really wish I had um, Dracul's gloves. Those would have been so good. But yeah, they are lead and they are pretty hard to find. I don't think I've ever found the Dracul's gloves actually. Um, a Raven Frost Ring might be good, but I'm actually kind of liking this ring that I found early on. Um, these, these belts here could maybe be something like the Gore Strings for Life Leech. Definitely want the uh, Gore's boots and like end game, but even something like the Immortal King's boots would also be pretty good. Spirit Shield, definitely. Um, I don't know about armor really. Maybe something like Viper Magic or something just for getting your resist. 
and I definitely would like a grief, but even something like crafted uh, the black rune word or whatever it was called for getting crushing blow would be probably a lot better than lightsaber, just because again, yeah, uh, crushing blow is very good. And maybe something like a ghoulie's helm or shaku for the uh, helmet, and then I don't know about amulet, bit hard with unique, so I think I just want to get something with good stats on it, or maybe try craft something, or... Uh, even just a Mars Amulet if you could get something lucky like that. But uh, yeah, this was surprisingly hard. It's definitely uh, no uh, big surprise to me that I never did complete the game on Hell difficulty when I was playing uh, single player some years ago with a Paladin on a much lower gear level. Actually, I think it was maybe even Hamer. Nah, I think it was Smiter back then, but yeah. <laughs> It's very very hard and I even gained a little while doing this so that's pretty fun <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think that uh, pretty much rounds it up If you like to see more of these budget things where I really just uh, try to go budget At least I think these were pretty budget items in my world um, But yeah, if you even find this to be too high gear level, feel free to say so <laughs> But yeah, thank you for watching and have a good one